Reports are stating that Antonio Conte has been told he can bring in six to seven players in the summer transfer window and will manage the club next season after confirming in a meeting on Friday. Reports are also stating one of the conditions of Antonio Conte staying and committing to Spurs was signings and the signing of Ivan Perisic because he is on Antonio Conte's list. Reports are also stating that Ivan Perisic will be given a two-year deal at Spurs worth £4 million a year, and reports are stating that Spurs are now lining up a move for right-back Jed Spence, and they will have to pay around £15 million. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. More reports have been published about Tottenham Hotspur signing into Milan star Ivan Perisic. This one is from the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham strike £8 million agreement Antonio Conte wanted with Chelsea and Juventus set to miss out. Tottenham boss Antonio Conte is desperate to bolster his squad this summer. The report states that Spurs are set to beat Chelsea and Juventus to the signing of Interstar Ivan Perisic, who is out of contract this summer. The Lily Whites will reportedly hand the 33-year-old a two-year contract and pay him £4 million a season. It then states that the Italian boss guided the team to a top four finish as they secured their place in next season's Champions League by thrashing Norwich City 5-0 last Sunday. Antonio Conte met with sporting director Fabio Prasci in Italy um, on Friday morning where he reportedly confirmed he would stay in North London for the coming campaign. And according to the independent newspaper, one of Antonio Conte's conditions to committing to the club for another year was signings with Ivan Perisic, one of the players the duo discussed and that has accelerated the club's talks with the left winger. Now more on Perisic. This one is from Sky Sports and they are stating that Spurs are confident of signing Perisic after making a contract offer. Spurs have made the 33-year-old a contract offer with his deal at Inter coming to an end. The Croatia international who has 113 caps for his country and scored in the 2018 World Cup final has been at Inter Milan since 2015. Sky Sports are reporting that further talks are expected on Monday when Ivan Perisic is set to make a decision on his future, also amid another offer from his current club, Inter Milan. Also in this report, it said he won Serie A last season under Tottenham head coach Antonio Conte after spending the 2019-2020 season on loan at Bayern Munich, where he lifted the Champions League. The pair could be set to reunite with Antonio Conte, preparing for next season at the club after talks with managing director of football Fabio Prasci on Friday. Also stated, Antonio Conte has been told the club aim to sign at least six or seven players as Spurs look to back the Italian in the transfer market. Spurs are targeting several areas with goalkeeper, centre-back, wing-back, central midfielder and striker among the positions they plan to strengthen. Antonio Conte deployed Perisic at left wing-back during his time at Inter after bringing him back into the fold. Now, my thoughts on the possible signing of Ivan Perisic from Inter Milan on a free transfer. I'll tell you what, if Spurs can get this deal done in the summer, I will be a very happy man and a very, very happy Tottenham Hotspur fan. I believe that Ivan Perisic would walk straight into this Tottenham Hotspur starting eleven and improve the starting eleven. Um, certainly would be fantastic for the squad as well. Um, you know, he, he is a player who has been there, done it, won trophies, been very successful, and he has an awful lot of experience, which I believe that Antonio Conte will want to bring in to this Tottenham Hotspur squad. Certainly bringing in, um, you know, two or three players who have been there uh, and, and got the T-shirt. And Ivan Perisic, uh, you know, certainly fits that description. Um, but I think that this one would be a real good signing, and I do hope that this one goes through.
Also, I wouldn't expect any more than a two-year deal. He's 33 years old at the moment. As I've said, he's been very successful. Um, and you've got to think from the player's point of view, 33 years old, given an opportunity to play in the best league um, in the world, in the Premier League, um, I think he will jump at this move. Um, you know, at the moment, Chelsea and Juventus are sniffing around and want to sign the player as well. Um, so we will wait early next week to see what decision he makes. But I'm hoping that he will be holding up that Tottenham Hotspur shirt very soon. Now, what a great couple of weeks us Tottenham Hotspur fans have had. Uh, of course, getting into the Champions League on Sunday, beating Norwich City 5-0. Well, more good news today. A report has just been published by BBC Sport, and they are stating that Antonio Conte will remain as Tottenham Hotspur head coach next season. There have been doubts over the Italian staying on, despite Tottenham qualifying for the Champions League. It states that Antonio Conte met director of football Fabio Prasci in Italy on Friday and reaffirmed his commitment to the club. It remains to be seen whether Antonio Conte will be willing to extend his contract. The 52-year-old's current deal ends in 2023, although the contract does contain an option to extend for a further 12 months. Now, my thoughts on Antonio Conte staying, I tell you what, I've got a huge smile on my face right now because this guy is a magician, this guy is our conductor, and I tell you what, he has produced miracles this season to get this club to fourth spot and get Champions League for next season. He has done a remarkable job and I am very, very excited going forward under this world-class manager. A report has just been published by the Sun newspaper and they are stating no expense spared. Tottenham out to pip Arsenal in £15 million transfer race for Jed Spence with Antonio Conte ready to splash the cash on the right back. Spurs are eyeing a summer transfer move for Middlesbrough right-back Jed Spence. The youngster has been a revelation at Nottingham Forest this season with a string of impressive performances, helping them to reach the championship playoff final. Spence on loan at the city ground from Middlesbrough has caught the eye of a number of Premier League clubs. Arsenal are among them after his standout display knocked Mikel Arteta's side out of the FA Cup. But just as Spurs pit their North London rivals into the top four, they are also set to steal Spence from under their noses too. In this report, it says that Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte views him as a potential right wing-back upgrade as the Italian looks to invest heavily in his squad this summer. It is believed that Antonio Conte is happy to let Emerson Royale leave and has made £15 million spent his prime target. Spence's ambition is to play at the highest level and Middlesbrough will sell to the highest bidder. Bayern Munich are said to have scouted the defender too. Brentford are another club in the race to sign at Jed Spence and believe he would fit their playing style perfectly. The Bees are also interested in another Forest star, Brennan Johnson, who has scored 18 league goals this season. Uh, it then goes on to say, and like Spence, his future may depend on whether Steve Cooper's side are promoted in Sunday's playoff final against Huddersfield. Spurs are also keen on Brennan Johnson, who has been tipped to join a top six side by Wales manager Rob Page amid interest from Arsenal. Spurs are closing in on another winger with Inter Milan star Ivan Perisic set to snub Chelsea to join them. It then states that Antonio Conte is aiming to revamp his squad this year with centre-back Alessandro Bastoni, uh, wanted alongside a backup for Harry Kane. The Italian is also keen to get rid of Deadwood, which could see Tongion Dombele, Giovanni Lo Celso and Harry Winks leave on a permanent basis this summer. Now, my thoughts on the possible signing of Jed Spence. i tell you what, of what I've seen of him playing for Nottingham Forest this season, very, very impressive. And uh, if you don't know too much about Jed Spence, do watch the playoff final that will be taking place at Wembley Stadium this Sunday. What a player. So if we can get him for around £15 million, I think that this would be a very, very good signing. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.
Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, trips abroad and more. Just go to our website www.footballprizes.co.uk